Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you a digital shading method. If you have never done digital shading before, then you can use this method to start your journey. Because with this, you can get some pretty good results immediately. And you can do it all without using any graphic tablet. So let's begin. I'm using the latest version of Krita. It is a free software, so I suggest that you download and install it. I will also be using default brushes. I have created this drawing in Adobe Illustrator, and it consists of a few layers. There is a layer for the outline, and a layer for the color itself. You should also divide your illustration into two layers like this. I have also created a color palette of different shades of brown that I will be using. The higher the number of shades, the more detailed your shading will be. I suggest that you create at least six shades of a color that you will be using in your artwork. Now let's look at the drawing of this tube. For any drawing, you need to figure out a light source, and you will need to shade according to that light source. I'm thinking of placing my light here. This means that the light will hit these areas directly, hence they will have the brightest color from the palette, and the rest of the areas will go darker as they move away from the light. To start the shading process, make sure to lock the alpha so that we can only color inside the shape. Now using the color selector tool, select the darkest shade. Then select the Bezier Curve tool and start creating the outline for the particular shade. We will move from the darkest to the lightest shade, so now select the second last color and create shade lines for that. We will be filling in these newly created shapes later to create a cell shade like effect. For now, we need to create these shade lines only, like onion rings. This is a bit difficult, as you need to have a pretty good idea about the shape of the object. As with any artwork, I suggest you look at tons of references before and during the process. The Bezier Curve tool in Krita is really awful. As you can probably see, I have to draw the same line again and again, just because I couldn't get the shape that I want. Obviously. I am using a mouse here so the curve tool is my only option. I suggest that you create these shade lines in Adobe Illustrator or any other vector-based software, or you can use a brush tool if you have a graphic tablet. We are done with creating the shade lines. Notice how the surface where the light will hit directly has the brightest shade line, and as we move away from it, it will get darker. If we hide the outline layer, you can see there are a few gaps between the lines. We will quickly close these gaps. and now each of the shape will be colored based on its shade. Using the color selector, select each of the shade one by one. And using the fill tool, fill each of them with their respective shade. Now we need to blend each of the shade. Fortunately, Krita provides a great brush for this. First select the freehand brush tool. Then open the brush preset. And choose blender blur preset. Initially, reduce the opacity to almost half and set the brush size according to your requirement. and then start blending in the different shades. Move the brush based on the flow of the shape. You will still notice these seams, but don't worry as we will fix them a bit later. Patience is the key. Move the brush slowly and take your time. If you can still see different colors not blending in, you can increase the opacity to fix those seams. 
Spend a few minutes on it until you get a believable looking shade. I find this method of shading a bit easier than using traditional methods. Here, I have more control over each of the color, and I have done it using a mouse. So if you don't own a graphic tablet then you can find this useful. And that is it for this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.